this is a crisis in terms of recognizing how many people are actually dealing with this. I think we're very underestimating this. Dr. Katherine Clauser sounding an alarm about rising cases of long COVID in New Jersey. She says a growing group of so-called long haulers, including children, keep battling symptoms like fatigue and brain fog months after their initial infection. Research shows it hits 10 to 20 percent of kids who got COVID about three months after their infection, even those who were asymptomatic, according to Dr. Clauser. That's one of the kind of scarier parts of all of this is that many of the patients that I would see, and I would actually say upwards of 75% of them who I'm now seeing in the post-COVID clinic had very mild symptoms or really didn't know. And because the time lag between infection and onset of long COVID can be months, it's tougher to diagnose. Symptoms vary. Kids might get heart palpitations or feel short of breath. But the number of cases has climbed recently in New Jersey, Dr. Clauser warns. There are probably three to 400 children in New Jersey receiving treatment. What we do know is that it is far underreported and far underrecognized. We're seeing actual changes in the way that people think, in the way that they can concentrate, and in the way that they can sleep. We see the genuine struggles that these kids have. These are all kids who were really social kids. They were high achievers. They were playing multiple sports and they are struggling with their daily functioning. Pediatricians applaud a new multi-million dollar federal study called CLOCK, that's short for Collaborative Long-Term Study of Outcomes of COVID-19 in Kids. In New Jersey, it's run by Rutgers' Dr. Lawrence Kleinman, who says researchers need to set standards for this syndrome. Long COVID can look different in different children. And both doctors and parents may or may not recognize it. We still don't know um, exactly what long COVID is in terms of its pathophysiology. It's still a mystery. The studies are ongoing. Dr. Anthony Mangia heads the COVID Institute of New Jersey. He says studies show vaccinations do help reduce the number and severity of long COVID cases for adults and kids. And while there's no FDA approved treatment, Pfizer's antiviral drug Paxlovid shown it can dramatically improve cases of long COVID in adults. But again, it needs to be studied. We can imagine you know, that eventually it may be the go-to drug for patients that are you know, newly positive who want to prevent the infection from resulting in long COVID. But it's, too, it's much too early to spe you know, speculate on that. Plus, there's currently nowhere near enough Paxlovid to go around. Meanwhile, COVID cases keep climbing. Every New Jersey county but the southernmost three report high COVID activity levels. This Omicron variant's not as virulent as early versions, but it can cause long COVID. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.